This past Thursday in GTA Online, Rockstar did something that we thought we would never see. They gave us triple money on gun running bunker sales. This is the first time I believe at any point in GTA Online where triple money was on a new business. For those first couple of hours on Thursday, people were rejoicing. Everyone was so happy. People went to their gun running bunker and immediately started selling their stock. But unfortunately, it only took a few hours before we saw the true Rockstar development team. Now, a quick history lesson for those unaware. The gun running bunker business is one of the more profitable ones in the game. Normally, without any money bonus, you can sell it for $1 million. Most people, however, wait until there's a double money event, which Rockstar seem to do somewhat frequently, and then it'll sell for 2.1. But like I mentioned, this past Thursday, we got triple money. And people were seeing this. $3.1 million. And like I mentioned, when people saw this, when they loaded into GTLI and for those first couple of hours on Thursday, everyone was freaking out. But it didn't take long before people saw the true Rockstar logic in action. Only a couple of minutes after that picture was posted with the $3.1 million, that same user posted this. Public service announcement. Three times bunkers is bugged. If you sell for the $3.15 million, you won't get anything and you'll lose all your stock. Just had it happen to me on Xbox One. So this is when people started noticing, hey, maybe, maybe something's up here. There's no way Rockstar are being this generous with triple money. And it turns out they were right. Because according to another user, any amount of product you had that was over $2.1 million, you would have completely lost it because of technical limitations, which are caused by the way the game was made, by the way they implemented this business into GTA, like Rockstar's mechanics, like he mentions, there is a limit of only $2.1 million on gun running sales. And you're starting to see the true Rockstar logic of this all. The funny thing is, Triple Money by itself wasn't bugged because people who did just one resupply mission for $75,000 and then sold that reported it worked just fine. This person said I had one vehicle sell that was $630,000 and that worked on the PS4. So triple money was a thing until you hit the $2.1 million mark. So the rockstar logic of this all is actually not only one of the most disappointing rockstar logics, but I think also one of the absolute dumbest. It could be different for other businesses, although I highly doubt it, but at least given now that we know all of this, 100% for the gun running business, Rockstar developed the game so you can only make 2.1 million. We've all wondered over the last four or five years where these triple money events are, and it turns out you can't even do them because of their incompetence. Now look, maybe there's a completely valid reason for this. I don't know what's happening behind the scenes, but at least to me, when you're making a game, the game shouldn't just freaking break completely when you accidentally give triple rewards out because there's some arbitrary number in place. Like Fun says here, well, at least we know now why we'll never have triple money because of technical issues. And you know, it seemed like this week that wasn't the only technical issues Rockstar had. Just to pile on, they posted this on their Twitter. They were giving out a $10 credit on their Rockstar Games launcher. If you used that code at checkout, if you bought anything, offer ended June 2nd. Well, not but like 
a couple of hours later. Shocking to everyone, I know. Due to a technical issue, we are suspending our current May sale through the Rockstar Games launcher. We are currently working to resolve this issue and we'll share more information as soon as it's available. We apologize for this inconvenience. And I guess these technical issues spilled over into regular GTA Online play. This poor guy went to the casino to test his luck on the lucky wheel. He wanted to win that new podium vehicle. And if this clip doesn't perfectly summarize GTA, I don't know what does. I know normally we have a lot more Rockstar Logics in these episodes, but uh, man, I just, I wanted to focus on the triple money. We're all holding out hope for the last three or four years that we'd eventually get triple money on something. Well, it turns out we'll never get triple money on anything. Apparently, except for adversary modes, because of course they don't have these stupid restrictions in place for them. If you have your own Rockstar Logic you would like to submit, tweet it to me with the hashtag Rockstar Logic, or you can post it in the comment section below. But thank you all for watching, and as always, I'll see you guys in the next one.